Hello, my name's Gavin, and this is Genre Books, and I've been tagged by Book Chat with Pat in the In Your Wildest Dreams tag, which was created by Heather Reads. Now, I've written down the prompts for this to crib from, but I've not written any answers yet, so let's see how improvisation goes. Prompt number one. Your fantasy time and place to read a book, if I can choose anything. I'm going for late 1950s, early 1960s, Rio de Janeiro. An exclusive, nice club with a long bar. I've got a drink in my hand. The air is a fug of Giton smoke. And I've got my sunglasses on. And there's a bit of boss on over in the background. That would be nice. Prompt number two your fantasy personal library. Well, I'm glad to say I've got a library now. I think you have to be over a thousand books for it to count. Two years ago, I wasn't at the mark, but um, yeah, I'm over it now and some. And I, th I think I've got quite a lot of the stuff that I want. Obviously, I'm always going to want more. So the fantasy would be an expanding, ever expanding space to fill with books. These books, or the majority of them, are stacked three deep. So I think stage one of any fantasy would be space enough that I can see them all. I think at that point I can then look at them and decide where I want to augment the collections. I would very much like to finish the Ballantine Adult Fantasy book collection and all the precursor books that come with it. I maybe have between a quarter and a third of the adult fantasy collection from Ballantine, but what I'd really like more of are pulp magazines. The more I dig into pulp magazines, the more I'm finding and the more I'm liking. But I'll pace myself. There's plenty of time and certainly not enough space. Prompt number three. Imagine that you have built a bookshop. What would you call it? Would you sell new or second hand? Would it sell anything else? What features? So a few questions there. And are there many people on Booktube who haven't spent some idle time daydreaming of owning a bookshop we haven't gone this year but for the last two years we have been lucky enough to take a week-long holiday in Hayon Wai the world's first book town and probably the world's best book town we stay in a lovely flat which is above a bookshop and you have to exit through the bookshop I think having a shop there would be the ultimate book shop owner dream. Guaranteed interest, guaranteed footfall. As to what I would call it, I do not know. But I think predominantly we would sell second-hand books. Second-hand books are just more interesting. And I'm not talking expensive antiquarian books, although that would be fantastic as well. But just your plain, honest second-hand paperbacks would it sell anything else yes i think so yes i think somewhere to sit down um grab a drink and take in the books around you would be nice as an owner as well as as a customer so yeah let's put a little ca let's put a little cafe in there and also somewhere for people to hold their book clubs if you open one or two evenings a week that would be that would be good. So maybe you'll do have to sell some new books as well. Because, you know, let's face it, this place has got to earn its keep. Maybe we can keep it to uh, new and independent authors. What features in this bookshop? I would want the quirkiness of the wonky bookshop in Canterbury. I would want the ornate 
uh, facade of Richard Booth's I would want the range of the Hay Cinema Bookshop. I'd have the adjacent cinema screen for showing art house movies and cult classics. One can dream. Prompt number four. One person with whom you can have a good conversation with about books. And that's easy because that's my wife. Although sometimes we would struggle to find books that we've both read to have conversations about. We still end up talking about books in general. I will occasionally astound her with a gap in my reading knowledge and experience. Because out of all this, she's the brains of the operation, not me. Prompt number five. If you had a million pounds, and I'm going for pounds, not dollars or euros or yen as the prompt suggested I don't think a million yen is much at all so I'm going with sterling for the moment but I've got a million and I can spend it on book related items what am I going to do the three saddest words in literature are out of print so I would buy a printing press and for a million I should be able to get quite a good one I will print stuff which I think should be back out in circulation what should be back into maybe not the mainstream but certainly into the public consciousness at some level there's plenty you can do here the Minerva press all their old horror gothic horror books endless endless science fiction stories which were never anthologized or maybe anthologized back in the 50s and never seen again being around the booktube and this is you know before i started making videos but when i was f started to fall down this lovely rabbit hole i kept finding more and more books that i'd never heard of before certainly no you know people weren't reading any longer and to be in a position to make them available to the book buying public again would be a lot of fun can i have another million for the pr budget please prompt number six tag some other people again i'm going to check to see who's been tagged and who hasn't but off the top of my head i would say Bartos bookshelf monty adkins reading ideas obscure book adventures back away from the donkey Bookless Pete and Tim's Too Many Books. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.